Hi, this is Steve Haas, and on behalf of Joshua Zamor and the Centrio team, I would like to introduce you to how you can set up email accounts that you can use with Send Creator and Send Lab or Centrio, and uh, not have to hassle with all the uh, Google and Gmail and all that other stuff, which we know has been complicated for some of you to do. If you have cPanel hosting, or even if you don't, you can pick it up dirt cheap. There's some places that's even free or it's like a dollar or two a month. So it shouldn't be too cost prohibitive for anybody if you don't already have a cPanel account. But anyway, once you have a cPanel account on a domain, then all you really have to do is go into your cPanel, go to email accounts, and we're gonna create an email account. Click create. I'm gonna call this one demo two because I've already done a demo with it before and it screwed up, so now I have to do it again. So here we go. Put in the password for it. And here, change it to unlimited. If it defaults to uh, a storage space amount, you know, quota like this, just change it to unlimited. Uh, unless you want to get an email about it, I would just suggest turning that off and then click create. Once the account's created, then you can use it. So we'll go in here, we'll find Demo2, which is right here, and we'll click on Manage. Once you're in Manage, click on Connect Devices. When you bring up Connect Devices, you'll see that you have two sets of uh, credentials here. One is for secure, and the other is not secure, or if you have an SSL or not an SSL. But vast majority of cPanels today are SSL. So we're going to use the SSL for this video. So anyway, we come into uh, Send Creator and we go to uh, Account Creation and we're going to create a new account. Now this is just for your benefit. You can name this whatever the heck you want. So I'm going to call this Demo2 to be consistent and then hit Next. Now here's where you select the uh, the web 2.0s and blog sites and so forth that you want. I'm just for the sake of this video, I'm going to choose them all. Now you can just select everything that's under a particular category like blog or bookmarks by just clicking right next to the, uh, the category heading and it selects everything in that category for you if you didn't know that already. So we're going to connect all of these. Just for the sake of expedience and then hit next now here we're gonna put in the email that we just created that email is and if you can't remember what you set up you can just always go back here and just copy and paste the username which is also going to be the email account so you go in here and we're going to create and then whatever you want to use for uh, a name here because it doesn't really matter and say with the date of birth you can pick any random date you want as long as you're over 18 it'll verify uh, phone number I have a Google phone number so I'll use that but you can use whatever you like and save that profile for later use click next Okay, here's where you're going to get the information that you just created in cPanel. Okay, so right now you're going to need the host name. That's the first piece of information that we need. So you can just come here and use either the inbound or outbound settings and select the host name, which is this right here. Copy that. Go back into Send Creator and we'll paste that in. And the port number. It tells you here, as I said, we're using SSLs or secure. So that's going to be. Uh, IMAP port 993. However, if you're on an unsecure server setting this up, then you would use 143. So let's go in here and put in 993. And the username is going to be the same as this right here. You see where it says username? Just copy and paste that. It's the email address. Paste that in here. And the password that I created with that account. And then we can save that account for later use. 
and as you can see they all verify and once it's verified you'll be able to hit the next button so when you hit next now you're going to need your sit lab login credentials okay so let me put in my sit lab login and then select the group now sometimes this takes a second or two to pop up so don't panic if it doesn't come right up okay so I'm gonna select one of the groups I have and then I'm gonna click save account and then click start and as you see here it's starting the account creation process now this will take depending at least a good five to ten minutes to set up in most cases and you're gonna have some that are gonna fail and we're going to talk about that in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and let it uh, continue with the account creation. And I'll come back and uh, show you what I mean. Just wanted to also show you this is what it's doing. It's creating the accounts for you automatically. And you'll see them popping up as they're being verified. Now some of these you're going to have to manually verify by going into the email account. But I'm going to show you that in just a minute. I'm going to let this continue to run. I just wanted to show you what it's doing when it's actually creating uh, the email or the uh, Web 2.0 and blog accounts for you. I'll be back uh, once it's almost complete. All right, I'm back now. And as you can see, most of these have gone through without a hitch. There's still uh, one big process for Tumblr and Bitly. And I know that these particular ones here require you to go in and click links in the email account that you created so and then the reason Twitter's failing for me is because I already have a Twitter account in my uh, send lab account so it's it's gonna scream about it so if you already have an account set up for some of these it may bark at you uh, about it especially the big sites like Twitter so uh, let me show you what I'm talking about now you go back here and we'll go back and we'll go back into email accounts again in your cPanel and we find demo 2 and then this time instead of hitting manage we're gonna hit check email now there's three different web mail and it doesn't really matter which one you want round cube horde squirrel mail whatever the heck just pick one it doesn't matter I'm gonna just choose round cube for now and it's gonna open up and as you can see it's gonna send me emails that require verification so you just click the verify email and that's it now you're verified and you I don't have to show you how to do this I'm sure you're smart enough to do this without my help so you can just go through each one that requires you to click a link or create a login or they'll send you back a code or whatever the case may be but for the most part as you can see here most of this is fully automated so the vast majority of the uh, sites are created automatically for you. And then you'll find them in your dashboard in SynLab under accounts. You just go under my accounts and boom. As you can see, they've all been created and added in. So uh, that's as hard as it gets folks it's really not that difficult uh, if you just follow along closely with what I just did you shouldn't have any issues at all so uh, good luck and we'll see you in the next video and by the way we're, we're trying to make this a more easy and automated process but until we ha have that down pat in the next few days just uh, follow along with this video or the previous videos to, to get set up you don't have to use Gmail so uh, like I said, better things are coming down the pike, and uh, I hope this video helps.